Hello, this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com and here we have a huge mess on the bench and I'm gonna make this video before I clean it all up. Now this video is basically about uh, Airmatic suspension pump from 2007 S550. Now it's in pieces, just want to show you like <clears throat> um, what's in there, what's inside and also why it's not really wise sometimes to buy a used pump like this because I did buy a used pump and I put it in but that pump was very fresh so it was really nice condition inside it's it's very quiet I mean I, I can't even hear it um, in the vehicle when engine is running and this one came from the vehicle vehicle is 2007 but as you look at the production date this pump was already replaced and this it's produ it was produced in 2010 so probably used one was installed but I gotta say the condition on this pump is extremely horrible um, it worked until very very end this is where the moisture filter is supposed to be so this is the um, um, the release valve right so that's what it is it sits inside here like that you see this pump sustained Pretty much either water damage or moisture entered it and it's it's really really terrible and also there was a leak in the strut that is repaired so um, now the pump just needs to come on for a quick second to pump up the pressure in the system and that's it now this is the moisture filter and this thing is pretty pretty bad looking I gotta say it's all this dirt and crud I haven't removed this and uh, I have slight problem I wanted to really go deeper in it like in terms of the actual piston Ooh, there we go okay all right okay so the pellets are okay they're not really bad but the actual filter is not so great so yeah that is definitely more or less obstructed so this is not good take a look as you can see with the light openings are pretty much all of them are blocked off except for a couple of little areas so pump is gonna work very hard to pump through this now at this point and maybe even some pellets somewhere I'm gonna empty this out later and look underneath the pellets themselves all right as you saw this plate was there so obviously all the pressure has to go through the blocked filter I don't want it to fall so this was not really expected but it happened with all these pellets fall out but again I'm cleaning the bench before I throw this pump away all right, so that's that. Also, you see there's a little bit of a valve here, and that is also rusty. Obviously, not correct. It shouldn't be like that. I mean, you don't want any rust in here. A couple of small parts, the plate for the piston cover. Uh, piston cover itself has this substance on it, which is some sort of crud. It's like oil mixed with something which shouldn't be in there okay that is that the back end of the motor brushes looked good as you see brushes are nice very nice no problems here here is another area uh, for the pump that's to um, um, that is the intermediate plate for the filter, right? So the filter, moisture barrier, moisture moisture filter, if you will. All right, that's that. Uh, the actual magnet assembly here is good. No damages in the magnet assembly, although there was lots of residue, wear and tear, the dust, all of this stuff came from the motor. This bearing is okay, don't mind this, I was trying to separate the two. And now we go to the most interesting part, 
obviously the actual pump, the piston. So the piston is dual action. There is an action here in the upper part of the pump, right in this area. And then here is the piston. So when you spin the pump, the piston moves up and down really, really quickly. And there is a bypass right here. To the other side, there is a smaller piston here, a single one bypass. I guess, well, I mean, that's how it's designed. The biggest problem here is this whole piston is really messed up. If you look at it, all of this residue, when I, when I was removing these bolts, moisture just started to just appear like droplets because I was heating them up with a torch and the moisture started to vaporize and I was crazy. And also, these are the valves. These are very important. One of them had a little piece stuck in there. These are supposed to open and close, right? This is that crud, the same dirt that was found on the piston cover, right? So you see these little, little areas of dirt. And um, yeah, so that's not really nice. The piston surface itself is not bad, although there are some scoring marks, right? Some scoring, some dirt and crud and whatever, and that's not looking too well. But other than that, the piston area probably would survive because pump worked until the very last minute. And I suspect it would have worked fine also further in, even with all these damages. But then some piece got stuck in one of the valves and then it started to give out very weak pressure. It was still pump, but the pressure was not up to the spec. It would take it a very long time to pump up the system. The car would still go up, but then eventually it will run and run and run, and then malfunction will appear on the display in the vehicle. And then when I check it with the diagnostic computer, check the pump operation and more of the release valve they won't work properly it would still get me like around seven bars which isn't bad but nonetheless for, for way too long of a time and pressure release didn't work now what i was going to do is i was going to try to remove the sta stator the the arm what is this armature uh yeah this is the armature i think and this is the stator well whatever this is the armature state what up state or armature whatever this name technical name for this piece i forgot because you know i'm not into this motor kind of things um but there is a bearing here that i was kind of trying to bang on it to get this thing out of here and no i couldn't do it it came out slightly but then it got stuck so if somebody has a have have a, if, if anyone has any ideas how to really undo the motor assembly from the actual piston that would be great because another problem if you look very closely inside that bearing is bad and it was bad it's not like i broke it it was just bad because you see how roller the the, the bearings themselves the balls they're just not in their holder there is no holder for those little balls it's just they're just there but they just spin around not being secured oh boy and another thing i found this little piece that was just laying inside the pump that's what i wanted to see where this thing goes just interesting you know removing these bolts on the piston head didn't really yield any results so i guess it's either frozen in there because bolts are extremely tight and frozen inside it took me a while i had to heat them up but um, I did remove them. I didn't break them. Seems like there's dreadlock on them. It appears to be so. So I had to heat them up. But anyway, this thing spun a little bit and then it's stuck. So, yeah, well, basically this is what we're looking at. Buying a used pump sometimes is not a great idea. Uh, new pumps, well, you know, if it's off the market one, I have no experience with the aftermarket pumps but I bought used but good pump produced uh, fresh produ fresh fresh production but again on the outside it might look okay 
but then on the inside this is how it might look. Also one more telltale sign of the pump ingestion any kind of moisture or water for that matter is this air intake tube. This is the air intake connection and see on mine you clearly see rust. So that is not good. So if you see rust then most likely water has been ingested or moisture entered the, the, the pump therefore inside it's probably worn out at this point. Okay so this is it I'll wrap this up throw this thing away although I really wanted to take the piston out and just have it all disassembled but I guess I'm missing something here and I don't really want to spend a lot of time on trying to take it all apart. I might try to do one more thing I'll try to drill around uh, and see what I find because there is a repair kit for this pump so if your motor is okay you can buy a piston the whole casing and that part right here right and that is separate but still you can still find them I think I saw this part the price wise it doesn't really make sense it has to come from overseas so I don't know if it makes any sense to do this but in any event I thought that I would do it just to have me a spare. Used pump was not expensive anyway, so it doesn't really make sense for me to go through all the troubles rebuilding, but I just wanted to see if I could do something with it. Spare, to have a spare is not a bad idea. Just if you're in a pinch, let it be on the, on the shelf versus waiting until another one is delivered if you need one. So, yeah, but I guess that's not gonna happen now. I don't I, I would rather just maybe find one used in good condition for a very cheap price I'll just buy it and have it on the on a, on the shelf let it be all right um, that's about it this was Victor at restoringmercedes.com thank you for watching